Catalina Herrera first made her mark on the fashion world in the early 80s, after years among the international social set. Today, her signature is a fine balance of timeless luxury, worldly influence, and a fresh modern appeal. Refined Irreverence, curated by SCAD Director of Fashion Exhibitions, Rafael Gomez, pays tribute to Carolina's body of work, past and present. The exhibition features her designs, personal photos, and furniture, as well as original art by famed fashion illustrator David Downton. SCAD is honored to present the first museum retrospective of Carolina Herrera's work, perfectly timed to celebrate 35 years of the House of Herrera. These garments, just like the woman who designed them, have a zest for life and a spirited story to tell. That's why we call the exhibition Refined Irreverence. This exhibition features timeless designs from the past, the present, and even the future. So many of these dresses make their debut on the runway, but it's what happens after that that's the real story. In this exhibition, we have garments from Michelle Obama, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Renee Zellweger, and Lucy Liu, as well as garments from Mrs. Herrera's personal collection. Carolina is a master of the classics, always with an unexpected twist. Frothy lace and tulle made to look like feathers. A pixelated flower projected on neoprene. A lace gown with a traditional look that's actually been printed. Jessica Simpson's wedding dress, absolutely beautiful. And would you believe it has pockets? Black and white is one of her favorite design themes. It's disciplined, but it leaves plenty of room to play. After all, this is a woman who, in walking through the space, paused to say, polka dots make me very happy. Talk about timeless. As you can see, I've even found my twin here. Any woman who gets to wear Carolina's dresses is so lucky, but especially this one, Royal Flush. We brought in our own sense of whimsy with this fabulous zebra, designed and sculpted by SCAD alumna, Emily Perez. Carolina was a pioneer doing her own market research. She was a guest at many seated dinner parties. So she issued a mandate for her company, everything must be beautiful from the waist up. Diana Vreeland told Carolina that she had a gift for textile design, and we really see it in these kinetic dresses. Yes, and here's a great example because we can see like the same print with two different layers. One it's transparent, the other isn't. And as soon as this dress is in movement, you can see how fantastic, you can see the kinetic effect. Who wouldn't want to walk in that dress? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's so special about this exhibition is that you really feel you're living the life of Carolina Herrera here. Exactly, and uh, we reproduce more or less her showroom uh, from New York, and uh, all the furniture is from Mrs. Herrera herself, and we also got replicas from all the pictures that are hanging in her office. Beautiful. Carolina Herrera's stunning designs are endlessly appealing to her devoted fans and clients, like actor and perennial red carpet darling Emmy Rossum, and producer and director Lee Daniels. Emmy, it's so wonderful to be with you. You look absolutely gorgeous in your Carolina Herrera. How does the wearing one of her garments make you feel? I think her aesthetic is timeless, strong, feminine, without ever being fussy or pretentious. She designs for a woman like herself, someone who can be so many different things. I think that's important for any kind of artist to be authentic to who you are, not to chase trends, but to really reflect and share the things that you think are beautiful. You always look so gorgeous. Any tips for how to look so great on the red carpet? Uh, have Carolina Herrera in your <laughs> phone book on speed dial. It's a great honor to wear one of her pieces. I always feel like I'm gonna look like the best version of myself. Rarely am I affected by fashion, and she pierces right to my heart. The way she looks at things is the way that an artist looks at things. As a child, there is a curiosity there. Carolina visited SCAD for the debut of Refined Irreverence, sharing her invaluable insights on the future of fashion and memories of a life in style. 
Carolina, welcome to SCAD and welcome to the dual museum exhibition of SCAD Fash and SCAD MOA, Refined Irreverence. I think it's a perfect name because, you know, it is so modern and so classic and timeless at the same time. It fits perfectly well with what we're showing. Yes, it does. And uh, as you say before, they're timeless. And you know, it's very exciting to see my work from 81 till now all together. It looks fabulous. What do you want students and visitors to take away from the exhibitions? For the students, I always tell them, if they're going to study fashion, the most important thing they have is the eye, because fashion is to please your eye, right? And the students should know from the beginning that they're going to get involved in an industry that is not easy, but the most important of all is that they have to show their own style. And that's the most difficult. It's not because somebody is very successful and they're going to copy a little bit here, a little bit there, no. It's their names and it's a new thing that they're going to do and they have to have a passion for it and perseverance too. It's lots of work and very hard. <laughs> I love the fashion illustration that David Downton did that we were able to include in um, one of the exhibitions. What do you think the role of fashion illustration is today? I think illustration is very important and it has always been very important in fashion because it's something that stays there. Years and years ago, Dior, they used to do illustration. So it was beautiful. And for me, a fashion illustrator is so important because you are showing exactly the idea in a different way. We teach fashion illustration, among other things, and also teach fashion students how to present their work with film, short films and photography. Everything is connected. Well, we live in the digital world We now. do. Let's take Instagram, for instance, or Facebook. Mm -hmm. For a fashion designer, for a fashion house, I think it's so important because it gives you something with the clients. They feel that they are part of the house in a different way. The shows are going on and at the same time people can see them. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing what's going on with fashion now. How do you limit the fashion shows to 10 minutes when you have all of these beautiful looks? The most difficult of all is when you work for six months or more mm -hmm. because you, you choose the materials and then you start with the styles and you work in the designs and all that. And everything is over in 10 minutes. And I'm always on the watch and I say, oh no, my God, it's nine minutes. We have to walk slowly. <laughs> <laughs> but the editing process must be difficult to try to decide, I'm only going to show these That's garments. one of the most difficult parts of a show because you get attached mm -hmm. to many looks. That's why a stylist, when you're working in a show, is very important. It's another pair of eyes that comes and see these things that you are creating. And uh, you say, that's too long, or this shouldn't be there, it should be in another group. So it's very difficult to edit. You grew up in Venezuela, surrounded by beauty. Is there an early memory from Venezuela, or growing up, that you could share? Yes, I grew up in a very happy childhood, let's say. I had three sisters, and we grew up in Caracas, and uh, with a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that I was brought up with discipline because of what I do, or what you do, you need a lot of discipline. You do. And I think discipline in life is very important. How has your family inspired you? I was lucky to come from a family where all the women were very well dressed mm -hmm. and the men were so good looking. So I'm very spoiled about it. <laughs> and that helps, Paula, because when you're growing up, your eye gets accustomed to beauty. I always say that life is about details. What excites you the most about fashion right now? Do you know fashion changes all the time? I love the changes. And for me, it shouldn't be a revolution. It should be an evolution. And that in, in inspired me to do new things for the times where we're living now. You cannot close your eyes and say, I'm going to stay till what I did in 81. You have to go on. And in fashion, it's always something new. Newness is fashion. Well, this was fun. Thank you. And thank you for being so generous with the students. You spent so much time with them. I cannot thank you enough because this has been very special for me. It has been so really amazing.